to be seen in Harzo. And Joe's had a birthday to me. Today is my birthday, February 4th, 2020. Nice, let's get it, let's go. Main also to be seen in Harzo. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's third round coverage of the players. We're at the TPC Sawgrass in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida for one of the game's most prestigious titles, the Players' Championship. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo. Now we go down to the first hole. Starting around the turn now, 72 holes, that's a lot of golf. Third round, about to get underway. Yeah, played well through the first two days. Very much in contention, but it's still a new day. Like the looks of this one. Oh yeah. Excellent opening tee shot, that ball right in the fairway. Frank, the approach shot here at the par four first, what's the right way to attack? The much easier flag is down that right side because you can run that ball with the slope to that low side. Tough flag on the left. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. That is classy. Yeah, that chance of going in. Birdie try again here today. Stop. Frank, what do you make of the par five second? Dog legs to the left, so there's a decision to be made here all the time, but a good hooking tee shot. That takes the trees on the left out of play and even the rough on the right. Good tee shot here. I've seen people get home with uh, as little as a five iron. That is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Beautiful shot, and that sets him up for a really easy putt. There's a putt for Eagle. So, Frank, what do you think of the start so far? Rock solid, John. Very impressed. 
Now to play three third. Not overly long, but two is a rarity here. Difficult green, and uh, you don't see a lot of tee shots actually finish close there for some unknown reason. Just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Getting set now over the putt. <laughs> Score that, a birdie. Frank, the bunker on the right I wouldn't call that a pot bunker. <laughs> that is, is some kind of a hazard, isn't it? Yeah, meanders all the way down the right side, but really it's the lesser of two evils. I'd rather be in that bunker on the right than the hill on the left. Oh, that was sweet. Straight down the middle. Frank, the second here at the fourth is a dangerous shot. Once again, this is another example of where you have to look at the green. Where exactly is the flag? If it's on that high portion, you've got to fly it all the way back. You can't ask for much more than that, about five feet away. Beautifully done. Different day, different hole. Made bogey yesterday. He'll do better this time, it looks like. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Now to the fifth. This long par four thought to be one of the most difficult holes on the front side here at the TPC Sawgrass. If you've got plenty of length in the bag, you can almost take it directly over the bunker on the right. But if you're not as long, you have to air down that left side. That appeared to be a good strike right there, Frank. Oh, good. It's just towering. Look at that hanging in the sky. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, so I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Frank getting set now for the second shot here at the fifth. What's the best way to go at it? Rich, it's one of the toughest par fours on the green. Yeah. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. So a chance for birdie after another solid approach shot. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. <laughs> Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Frank, you don't want to get too cute with that second shot here at the sixth. I remember many a time, Rich, when they put the flag right of center. You try and hit a little bit too close, those palm trees all of a sudden come into play. Hits one of those, that ball can go anywhere. Given this one the full treatment, perfect release through the ball, and this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. 
Setting up for another approach, our featured golfer has continued that excellent play from earlier in the round. Indeed, there's no better feeling in the world than when you know you're firing on all cylinders. Hitting fairways, second shot's just going straight at the flag. Right now, everything is working. Really in control of this hole. Birdie yesterday and another opportunity on the way. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Frank, what do you think of the seventh? Interesting par four um, for two reasons. The undulating green on the end of the hole that also shapes to the right, that makes it look like a dogleg right. But really, you want to play that tee shot just inside those pot bunkers down the right side. That's a good spot right there. Center cut. You want to get to what they call the gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18, with a chance. 16 is the reachable par five. You can make eagle there. And then the final two holes, you just want to steer clear of trouble, though. With bold play, and you mentioned it with Craig Perks, you could make birdies. It really is a case of mind over matter when you look at those holes. You're right, if you took away the water, you'd think they're three nice holes. But it wouldn't be the same. You intimidate the player as he, as he plays 15. He's well aware of the finishing three holes. Good chance at one. This has been just a pure display of ball striking all day long. Has not missed a single green, every one in regulation. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Seems to really have the touch today. Frank, this is a hole that I really like. The eighth, 237-yard par three, just a necklace of bunkers surrounding the green. What's the best approach? Well, you come out through that chute or that hallway of trees there, and this being the longest of the four par threes at TPC Sawgrass, the green actually plays much smaller than what it looks because of that narrow entry. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Purdy. He'll have 17 feet on this putt. Makes birdie again. Yeah, that pace, that roll, it's always getting to the hole, and, and it, it's the perfect, what we call the perfect holding speed. It uses all four and a quarter inches of the cup. <laughs> Those are good numbers right there. 3 2 0. Oh. 320 yards, just crushed it in the fairway. Playing his second shot here at the par five.
This is going to be a tough day on the links. I mean, even the seagulls are walking to work. Frank, when you think layup shot on a par five, you think it's easy. This isn't necessarily that simple, is it? No, you've got to keep the ball to the right. Otherwise, those overhanging, overhanging limbs on those trees on the left, they become havoc. Good swing, good shot yet again. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. And that's a birdie. Setting up to start the back nine here, and if it's anywhere near as good as the front nine, Frank Hill will be very happy with his score at the end of the day. Yeah, the hardest thing right now is to just keep doing the same thing without focusing on the score. Shot and golf's the next one. Judging by that light, it's not going to be too hard. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. That was close though. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday. I'm trying for another one today. Now to the 11th, par five. Good tee shot, and then you certainly think about hitting a hybrid or a lofted fairway wood into this green that's really narrow, one of the narrowest on the golf course. There's a little pot bunker left of this green when you go for two that often swallows up that second shot if it's a little bit too conservative. But um, there's a lake there. Seen more than one ball splash in the pond over the years. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Frank, you played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. What's the mindset? Well, this is really what separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself, and it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze, but um, if down breeze, tear it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Frank, that is how it's done. Yeah, take a gross of those. That is a lesson in itself. And now a chance for eagle. This is an eagle putt. 
Just sensational golf, and he finishes it off with an eagle. Down to the par 4 12th, and it's a pretty short hole, Frank. Yeah, Pete Dye often doesn't get enough credit for his short par fours, though. This is a great example where one of the features of it is the blind second shot, just to give you a little bit of doubt on judging the distance. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpet. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Now the approach to the 12th, Frank. What's the player looking at? Well, it's a fun shot here for the second shot, especially if you've driven it down the right side, because then you can see the flag no matter where it is on the green. On the green in regulation. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Frank, 17 gets so much attention here at the TPC Sawgrass, but 13 par 3 is exciting in its own right. It is, and it's actually more difficult than 17. Uh, one of the reasons it's longer, um, and also the green here. 17 obviously has two, two sections in it, front and top. This has, uh, I don't think there's a flat piece on it. And every now and again, we watch a ball roll all over the screen and actually find the cup for the odd ace. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Second shot. Rich, that just adds insult to injury to the rest of the field. Another birdie, and the gap even wider. A sensational performance. All right, Frank, this one gets everybody's attention. 14th, 481 yards, par four. It's not just the length of this hole. Water down the left, mounds to the right. This is it. You've got to buckle up here. Tee it up. This has to be your best swing. This is when the game is fun, Frank, when you get one high in the air and you have a down breeze and you just watch it stays in the air forever. Be the hang time on that. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Good, clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. So the short miss, and those are painful. Has this one for par. Frank, a par here, that's just fine. Just before we get to what they call the gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18, 15 requires all of your attention, doesn't it, Frank? Personally, I think this is the prettiest hole on the golf course, Rich. I've actually often gone back there and taken pictures. Uh, just a gentle dog leg to the right. Uh, you come out of the chute. Seems to be a generous fairway. You just get a little view of the bunker down the right side. But virtually there's no lip there, so that's not a concern. The green, uh, all sorts of weird and wonderful waves on it. Um, well protected by a big bunker on the left. And there's two little pot bunkers out on the right that, uh, well, if you're first time around, you might notice.
put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. And getting ready for the putt. Continues to putt beautifully. Frank, you're one behind. Sunday afternoon, you're trying to win one of the game's great championships. Is this a spot that you love as a competitor, the 16th hole of par five, with a chance to make a lot of noise? It's a spot you cannot hide from, Rich. Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power, though? Just pulverized that golf ball. Play ball! Golf ball? Shout out to Human Torch, superhero, shout out to Ford, Frank, Marvel, you like boxing. and also a girl, we also ask Captain right Marvel, she flames on too, Smoke. with the power of the Good Cosmos. Shot right in the fairway, and plenty long. There's a big green and they're going to use every inch of it. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. These putts keep the round together. Frank, this is just an absolute bludgeon right now. An eagle and the lead widens. Frank, you know what's great about 17? The buddies played the golf course, and they come back and they tell you, hey, I played TPC Sawgrass. What's the first question they're always asked? Did you hit the green? What'd you make at 17? What'd you do there? Yeah, but you know what the best thing about playing with your buddies in 17? Is when they hit it in the water. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Standing over his birdie putt. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Now to the final hole here at TPC Sawgrass. 462-yard par four. Frank, is this one of the toughest finishing holes in the sport? It is, because the simple reason you've played 17 holes and the job isn't done yet. Oh, that's fine. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Now he just needs one final good swing here, the approach shot to the last. That green's starting to look a little smaller than what it did earlier in the day. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Superb shot. That's uh, uh, as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Frank, that front page of the leaderboard has been looking good all week. You're exactly right, Rich. Uh, I think our winner is certainly gonna come from that list right now. I'm excited for tomorrow's final round. Nice to be seen Arthur over and out.
And also, like I said, today's my birthday, February 4th, 2020. And it's amazing sitting there pretty fresh. What can I say? <laughs> and shout to Corey Bryant. I want to say Corey Bryant is he is for eternity, a legend. And my birthday numbers it are amazing. Like, and add up to his jersey number. N numbers. Definitely least number. Because Corey Bryant, were, his first jersey number that he wore in the NBA was number eight. And two times four is eight. And that's my birthday number. The second month of the year and the fourth day of the second month of the year. Two and four. Right now it's 2 4 2020 and 2 times 4 is 8. So that's amazing. And then 2 right next to 4 is 24 as the second number. Corey Brown brought his jersey in the NBA. So that's great. Oh, that's amazing also. So it's amazing. Shout out to that. Also, and I want to acknowledge that. And yes, it's just amazing. Like I said, my birthday today. And, um,. We're just gonna keep it going, keep doing it. I'm just gonna keep it going, keep doing it. And I'm 23 years of age right now. I'm from 22 to 23. And today I'm 23. Like, <laughs> that's the birthday today is 2020. And it's perfect, like I said. And Michael Jordan won 23 on his jersey too, so it's like that. It's pretty fresh. And I think there's the Michael Jordan Dr. Mary is coming out. This year too, 2020, like about the Chicago Bulls and everything with that. So it's gonna be like 10 parts or something like that, I think. So that's also fresh. That's happened the same year that I'm 23, 20, turning 23 years of age, which is currently today. And like I said, I could draw more 23 on his jersey also. So it's just all meant to be. It's all in harmony with the universe, and it's just perfect analogy that I'm given. So, so that being said, I just want to acknowledge all that. And CBC Naruto. Oh yes. Also. Shout out to Patrick Mahone boy going to Disney World yesterday also on February 3rd, 2020. And my birthday is the same week as Super Bowl week, of course. And I Super Bowl Sunday, my birthday is the same week as Super Bowl Sunday and Yeah, he went there yesterday and it's amazing. I'm gonna go there too, I'm going there too. And he was a Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and the, every, every, the whole Disney crew, Goofy, everybody. And of course, you know, also Kingdom Hearts 3 also. Let's get, and that's the whole thing. <laughs> Let's get some of Kingdom Hearts 3 on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And he had Disney, they had, they had Disney cast in the background. It's amazing. It's just shit so huge. I love it. And I'm probably going to be in there one day also. It's just perfect. So, like I said, I want to tell you that. And speaking of Disney, that like I just said, Disney and Square Enix combined with the Kingdom Hearts franchise, and let's get started for Kingdom Hearts 3 on Switch Mapper's Ultimate. It's necessary, it's time, it's been time, it's been like 10 years ago, like a decade ago. So, it's so overdue at this point, but it's a necessary, and I want it done, I want them on there. And let's get it done, let's get them on there. And let's do it, we're going to get them on there. I want to get them, I am going to get started for Kingdom Hearts 3 on Switch Mapper's Ultimate. Let's get it. Let's go. And we, we are too. We are going to get Sofa Kinarsky on the Super Mario Ultimate. Let's get it. Let's go. And with all that being said, I just want to acknowledge all that. And once again, George, happy birthday to me. Thank you for the announcement. Want to shout out to you, Right? Correct? All right. And CBC Naruto. Over and out.